Hello, everyone. Welcome to the GitLab Culture Open House. My name is Dave Gilbert. I'm the VP of Recruiting here at GitLab, and it's my privilege to welcome you to this first of what I hope are many events. Thank you for taking time out of your schedules to join us for this open house. Today's event is all about opening our virtual doors. We don't have any doors or any offices anywhere at GitLab, but it's an opportunity to open our virtual doors and give you a window into our very unique culture, as well as give us a chance to connect with and hopefully get to know each of you over the course of the next few hours. In just a few moments, you'll hear a message from Sid, our co-founder and CEO about GitLab's core values. These values are foundational to everything we do here at GitLab. Everybody talks about values and in title, values at lots of different companies sound similar to other organizations. Um, personally, I've never experienced a company that walks the talk of its values more than GitLab does in a truly authentic operational way. And hopefully you'll get a sense for that over the course of these events, both from the content we present, but just as importantly, from the experience we're trying to create for you as participants to interactively feel what it's like to experience GitLab's values and culture firsthand through our open house event. As you may be aware, GitLab has been embracing all remote work way before it was cool, right? Since our founding year, which was not very long ago, we were a Y Combinator incubator company that made a decision then to embrace all remote. And in fact, as we led up to this year's pandemic, GitLab was the world's largest all remote company, 1300 plus team members around the world with literally zero offices. We had a vendor, uh, some questions commercially from a vendor recently, and they asked to be able to tour one of our offices. And we kind of scratched our head and wondered, what does that look like? Is that you know, asking Sid if they can come visit his apartment in San Francisco? We haven't actually called that in yet. We'll see if it becomes necessary. That early embracing of, of and codification of what remote means into every aspect of our business means that we're able to very intentionally build a remote company culture and sustain that culture even as these horrible global climate conditions, the global pandemic, have forced so many companies to suddenly figure out how to embrace remote work, either completely across their business or in parts of their business. More about that later. We're not big fans of partially remote. It's uh, much wiser to go all in. And there's a session on that coming shortly from our head of remote. Um, to give you just another perspective about life at GitLab and how we roll and what all remote feels like, I would encourage you to take a couple minutes, maybe one minute, to skim the Fast Company article that we linked on today's main event page and hop in. That article from Fast Company was published just last week, and it's a great read about getting started at GitLab and what it's like to be part of a remote team. It has some cool interactive graphics and I think you'll also really enjoy both the visual and content elements of spending a minute in that Fast Company article. And hey, one more shameless plug, if you'll indulge me. Just this morning, another publication, Forbes, went live with its Cloud 100 for 2020 and GitLab earned the lucky number 13 on that very esteemed list of tech companies. So take a couple minutes to check out this year's Cloud 100. You'll see more about GitLab there too. Let's talk about today's agenda. And I'll give that slide just a moment to load. The sessions you see here will be a great way to help you get to know our team and our culture. A couple things I'd like to highlight. First, the Q&A sessions that you see. Great opportunity to get to know the various teams within GitLab. That'll take place in the get to know sessions in the sessions area of Hopin. So spend some time there and get familiar with some of the teams across GitLab's company and culture. In the get to know sessions, we also you're also able to be able to join open conversations with teams that you might be interested in. And these will remain open throughout the event. So take a couple minutes to check those out too. 
You'll also see a Q&A Google Doc on the reception page. Um, Google Docs is one of many ways that we at GitLab codify our technology stack and standardize it across the company. So hey, true to how we work at GitLab, every meeting has a Google Doc and an agenda. For this session, we made the Google Doc a Q&A. Feel free to use it, ask, follow along with questions throughout the sessions. You can use the chat feature as well for that within Hopin, and someone from the GitLab team will migrate your question into the Google Doc. It'll be another way to actually experience a real time interactively how we roll at GitLab. And remember, if you've got a question, likely, probably, someone else has the same or a very similar question, another participant at the event. So you're not only helping yourself by getting your question answered, you're likely helping one of your fellow participants or many more. We've discovered that at GitLab, and it's one of the reasons why we have very active, open collaboration for everything we do at this company. We have time for questions. We may also ask you to verbalize. If we run out of time, we'll also be sure to answer any questions asynchronously as we go. There'll be five minute breaks, just a logistics note, five minute breaks between sessions. At GitLab, all meetings standardized, defaulted to 25 minutes to ensure that we can take those five minute breaks between meetings and stay engaged, refreshed throughout the course of any GitLab day or any GitLab event. And then finally, we'll close out the event with the networking merge, where you'll be paired up with a GitLab team member via what we call networking roulette, or what I like to call speed dating. You can find that under networking, take some time to explore those sessions. I think you'll find them engaging and enjoyable. So without further ado, I wanna give the floor to Sid, our co-founder and CEO, to share his perspective about a topic I know he's very passionate about, GitLab's core, credit values. My name is Sid Seabrandy, co-founder and CEO at GitLab. GitLab's six core values are the foundation for our company. These values are not static. They form a live document. Our values have been updated 62 times in 2020 so far. And our values are collaboration, results, efficiency, diversity, inclusion, and belonging, iteration, and transparency. Our six values spell out the word credit which is what we give each other by assuming good intent. You can see each of our values represented in the illustration above me. And if you look up GitLab values, you will find sub values and many examples under each one. This is how we make them actionable and prevent misinterpretation. Staying true to the company values enabled GitLab to sustain our culture as we grow. The values act as like a distributed decision-making framework. And it's very important that any new team members can see our values and the way we work before they decide to join so they can see if GitLab is a fit for them. That is why over 5,000 pages of our internal processes are public, including our strategy. We reinforce our values in 16 different ways. And the most important moments to reinforce your values are decisions that affect individual team members most hiring, promotions, and bonuses. Every single promotion document at GitLab is shared with the entire community, the entire company, and it uses the values as the core structure. Anyone in the world can make a suggestion to our values and our handbook, including people who won't work at GitLab yet. I hope you do so. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Sid. Hope that was helpful, and I think I've made a career out of working for founder-led companies. Uh, GitLab is my fourth that I've been privileged to serve. Um, in those companies, the values always are a reflection of the CEO. I like to say that the CEO's DNA flows through the veins of companies' cultures when, they're, when it's a founder-leader combination, which is unique and rare. Um, that's my jam, doesn't have to necessarily be your jam. Um, with Sid, what I think is particularly special is you felt and heard in that presentation collaboration, iteration, transparency, and you can sense and see how GitLab's values are a reflection of Sid. Just look at the iterations that he described and enumerated over the course of that presentation that have happened just in the course of 2020. It's great insight into who Sid is, 
and who GitLab is and how he and we all roll. So last but not least, before we open the event, if you're interested in staying connected with us, I encourage you to please A, follow us on LinkedIn and B, join our talent community if you haven't done so already. You can see a link here on this slide, but that's a way for us to be able to periodically share content updates with you as to what's happening at GitLab or further iterations or evol evolutions, as well as interact with you or reach out to you about roles that we see a match with your background for, either roles that are open currently or roles that are open in the future. So if you're open for it, please feel free to join our talent community. We'd love to welcome and uh, interact with you there. If you have any more questions, feel free to take a look at the event homepage and I ask you to just enjoy our open house. Looks like we have a few minutes left. So to practice what we already described, I'll take a look at the, the questions doc and see if there are any questions already posted there in the Q&A that I can answer for us live real time before we kick off the event. Looks like there's one from Katarina, which is, What's the biggest piece of advice you'd give to someone interested in starting a fully remote role, moving from a traditional in-office environment? So my answer to that, Katarina, that's a great question, is, um, and that was, candidly, I'll just share my personal experience. About a year ago now, I was considering joining GitLab. I was making a move, contemplating making a move from an amazing tech company that I scaled over four years as the head of talent. Um, it was very progressive, wonderful culture. I have nothing but amazing things to say about the team and organization Qualtrics that I joined GitLab from. What Qualtrics was definitively not, however, was all remote. I'd never worked in an all remote environment personally. And I know that my style and interactions with people very much was about walking around and engaging with people face to face either formal interactions or informal interactions. So I knew the move to GitLab for Dave was going to be a dramatic shift. And so deep dive exploration, because GitLab was so transparent in its handbook and through my own networking efforts to talk to GitLab team members or former team members and get a feel for what it really would be like for me to work at GitLab if I were lucky enough to have an offer extended and to join this company was really important diligence. And I'm so glad I did the time to do that research and so glad I've had the opportunity to join this company and be part of its journey. It's, a, it's an exciting one and it's a rocket ship. It's great to be part of it. Next question from Betsy is, what do we see as the top benefit of all remote work? My thought there, um, I do not want to steal Darren Murph's thunder. So, you should join Darren's session next on the agenda to get real deep perspective from our head of all remote about all the benefits of being part of an all remote environment that's truly embraced and led the charge for all remote work across the world. My personal answer to that question is that it meant reuniting with my family. So for Dave, the job I had at Qualtrics was in Utah home and family were here in Colorado. We've been straddling the mountains for four years as the Gilberts and my family coming to see me there or me coming back to Colorado to visit. So reuniting with the family here in Colorado, which really has been our home for 20 years, was a very important benefit. And a funny story, in my first interview with Sid, he asked me that question personally. And I wondered for a second, but answered it in exactly the way I just answered it. And Sid said, that's the perfect answer. We're a family first company. And if GitLab gives you that opportunity, that's what's right for you. And we're happy about that. So it was great to see him be authentic and referencing the family first element of the culture that I'd already read about. So that's enough out of me for the Q&A. And without further ado, we'll open up the event Thank you again for taking the time to join us and enjoy the GitLab open house.